Yo, 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 what's up? Come on in, viewers and subscribers. How you doing? It's the Magician of Tarot here, back on the installment. I've already preached having blessed full powers, but let me tell you what we're talking about today. We're talking about urgent message from spirit. Urgent, urgent, urgent messages, messages, messages from spirit, spirit, spirit. I, like I said before, I've already preached having blessed full powers. Allow me to pick my powers, please. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are great. You know the spiel. First pal, it's going to be this kitty on a rocket. Say up, up, and away. Let's get out of here, bro. Where do you guys want to go? Uh, second pal, it's going to be this dragonfly. Say, I want to get away. I want to fly away. A lot of people want to go somewhere. Um, but the third pal is going to be the space alien. Say, take me to your leader. Last but not least, it's going to be the zombie. If you guys feel like you're on survival mode, if you guys like scary movies, check out Pal 4. Guys, that's all I got for you. Please like and subscribe. Comment in the comment section. Help the algorithm. Help the channel. Help a brother out. I love you guys infinitely. Peace to ya. Love to ya. All the good stuff. Peace. Hey, 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 what's up, Pow One? Come on in. Let's talk about urgent messages from Spirit. <laughs> Great Spirit, Holy Spirit, what is going on, Pow One? I don't have channel messages. I don't have extra cards, so it should be short and sweet. Uh, let's start us off. Urgent messages. We have the Ten of Swords out here. This is y'all energy, is what Spirit is telling me. The Ten of Swords are all about feeling neglected, backstab, betrayal, lots of pain. The Ten of Swords in a, is an accumulation. It's excessive, and I feel like you guys are really living in the ringer right now. The Ten of Swords, like I mentioned before, is pain, and I feel like you guys are stressed out about something and you're overwhelmed. But Spirit's also telling me you might be over-exaggerating with this excessive card out here. So you guys gotta find your peace. You gotta breathe. You gotta let go, let God. You can't figure everything out. This is a lot of mental activity. Swords represent mental activity, ideas, thoughts, and I feel like your mind is going a mile a minute just like how I'm talking so quickly. So this me message resonates for me too. And we're all going through something right now, but we're all gonna get through it. It's not the end of the world. Don't be so dramatic. Let's continue on. <laughs> what else we got? We have the Page of Wands in reverse. Now the Page of Wands is telling me we're being a bit immature and I'm talking to myself too. I'm not calling you guys out without calling myself out. Spirit doesn't want us to be whining, moping, crying for a situation that will change quickly. I feel like a lot of us are a child of God because I see a child out here. And if we're a child of God, we have to exercise faith. We have to, you know, let go, let God, like I've been mentioning before. But I feel like a lot of us are being a bit bratish is what I'll say with this page of wands because the page of wands is known to be a temper tantrum, spoiled, um, and punishment. So a lot of you guys feel like you're being punished by life. You're not knowing how to respond maturely. And Spirit wants you guys to let go, let God, because you're a child of God. And if you know that, then you know that you're taken care of. That horn is out here for confirmation. <laughs> Let's talk about it. We have the Queen of Wands out here. I love this energy because it tells me I'm transmuting your confidence level. The Queen of Wands is known to be very confident, attractive, beautiful, graceful, kind. Spirit wants you to take care of yourself, take care of your mental activity, take care of your well-being in general. Go do something for yourself. Go pamper yourself. Get your mind off of whatever it is that's plaguing you. Because I see you guys thinking about something nonstop. And that needs to stop is what I'm getting here. So this is a great card to have upright because it tells me I'm building your confidence level. I'm helping you guys, you know, find peace of mind. What else we got? We have the temperance out here. Temperance is all about peace and balance, moderation. I feel like you guys are very spiritual because I have a very spiritual card. This is the creation of God out here. We have an angel out here. A lot of you guys are earth angels, your star seeds, your child of God, whatever you want to call yourself. But I feel like you're going through something right now. You're going through the ringer. It's a bit turbulent is what Spirit is showing me with this water out here. And this is all a part of your journey. It's what I'm seeing here with this long path out here. I channel Spirit with my sun card. And I, Spirit is showing me this sun out here. You're going to have brighter days in your life. 
no doubt about it, but you have to get through it to get to it. Um, so it's all about peace of mind. It's all about balance, moderation, and controlling what you can control and not over-exaggerating, not over-analyzing, not letting things plague you like earthly matters because God is great. You know, God's going to take care of you. So find your peace. What else you got? You have the tower card in reverse, and it makes sense to me as a reader because the tower card is an emergency, a crisis, stress, a bad day, bad news. It's just negative energy all around. But with the tower card in reverse, it's telling me y'all don't have to stress out as much as you're stressing out of. I feel like you're building sand castles in the sky. I feel like you're a bit destructive emotionally. You're imagining the worst, and spirit doesn't want you to do that. Spirit wants you to, you know, be solid. Is what I'm seeing here with this being in reverse. Okay, so have some composure is what I'm hearing let go let God because there's no emergency for you guys to be overwhelmed by even though it seems intimidating what else we got we got the two of wands out here spirit wants you guys to take your mind off of the current matters is what I'm getting here the two of wands are all about planning and research you gotta channel your energy and focus on something else that you can focus on focus on a hobby or task focus on Something else other than pain, other than suffering, other than worry and stress. Okay, but um, you got to put your mind into healthy avenues. What else you got? And in this reading with the Three of Cups out here. Three of Cups is all about being social, friend group, um, enjoyment. If you guys do have a friend group, go hang out with them. Go get it off your chest. Socialize. Talk to a stranger. That always uplifts people because, you know, getting to know people and, you know, being open to other people is healthy, is what I'll say. But um, I see a friend group out here. Maybe you guys are looking at me as a friend, as encouragement, as a support system, because the Three of Cups does come with a support system. I feel like you guys are adhering to this message because I see full attention out here with these three women out here. So I'm glad I'm grabbing your attention. I'm glad I am offering you reassurance, but that's all God, okay? God's just using me just like God is using you guys. Let's get clear and close our remarks. We got the four of pentacles. A lot of you guys are stressed over money. A lot of you guys are control freaks is what I'm getting here because the four of pentacles is all about controlling, holding on tight to things. Um, like I said before, whenever I get this in reverse, you got to let go and let God. And I feel like you guys are clinging on to the 3D material, superficial things. And that's just a part of your journey. It, you know, you got to, you can't do anything. Then don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's get Clinton out. Spirit that's what I'm going to use today. Hi, priestess. A lot of you guys are very intuitive. You're either astrologers, high priestess, you read palmistry, you're just a spiritualist with the high priest out here. It doesn't matter what you label yourself, but I feel like you have spiritual gifts. God knows you. God knows your energy, and God's not going to forget about you. I feel like a lot of you guys are in the dark, and you're going to make it out into the light, into purity, but you had to go through this season in order to be more pure, in order to, you know, have a better understanding of yourself and to help other people go through the situation that you're going through. <laughs> Great Spirit, can I get clarity and close the march of power one, please? And thank you. Let's talk about it. Ten of swords, uh, stress, temperance out here. I feel like I am alleviating the stress. Somebody needs a Tylenol or an Advil. I see a headache out here or lots of pressure out here. Um, and I see a healer out here with this doctor thing on her head. So a lot of you guys are having mental anguish and that's manifesting physically okay so you guys gotta find your balance so your worries and stress don't manifest to ailments and diseases okay but i feel like with this temperance out here i'm out here healing you guys but now with two tempers out here y'all have to heal yourself because you're an earth angel yourself you know you're out here trying to you know be peaceful so now you have to be the source of peace and we're all going through a long journey, and it, it's intimidating sometimes, but we'll get there. Let's talk about this uh, page of wands out here in reverse. 
you have the Knight of Swords in reverse. The Knight of Swords in reverse is telling me you guys are paranoid because the Knight of Swords in reverse chases his tail. He rushes. You guys are anticipating too much. You're rushing. You need to relax, let go. Um, when you get there, you'll get there is what I'm getting here. I feel like y'all are receiving this message and you guys are going to have more courage leaving this message. What else we got? Queen of Wands, whether you're a man or a woman. Lover's card out here. Wait a minute. I see attraction out here. I see a bond out here. Um, I don't know if you're attracted to me. I'm not, you know, gassing myself up. I'm not patting myself on the shoulder, but I definitely see attraction. The Queen of Wands is known to be beautiful, handsome, alluring, um, aesthetically pleasing. And then I have the Lover's card. I feel like you guys are feeling the love. Um... It could be mutual attraction, but I can't see y'all like y'all see me. So you never know. Let's talk about this temperance out here. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. Five of Swords is energy of you underestimating yourself or, over, or overestimating your enemy. Because the Five of Swords is all about enemies and not trusting people around you. I feel like you're probably in a situation where you don't trust yourself, you don't trust other people. That's playing your mind space with the temperance in reverse. So you have a mental imbalance with the temperance in reverse. And you are underestimating yourself and your situation. It's all a part of the journey. Let's talk about this tower card in reverse. Lack of an emergency. We have the six of cups in reverse. With the six of cups in reverse, you're not trusting the process. You're not trusting the journey. The six of cups is all about trust, support, looking out after people. I'm looking out after you to let you guys know you don't have to build sandcastles in the sky. You don't have to have a meltdown. You don't have to be in red. I feel like you guys trust what I'm saying, and now we got to give it to God. Give God the glory and praise because he's worthy, because he's that strong. He's that wise. You know what I mean? I'm not just saying this to say this because I feel like y'all already know this. Now you have to live this. Let's talk about the two of wands out here, planning focusing when your world is flipped side to, upside down when you have lots of chaos in your life when you become unsettled that's when you have to focus on a task focus on a hobby get your mind off of the anguish i feel like a lot of you guys feel stuck and you're on a hamster wheel because that's what i see here with the circle out here and you're going to get to where you are going to go and have success because the world card does come with success but you got to let go this is another card that signifies letting go because the two of wands is planning and research. The two of wands in reverse is editing, subtracting, dividing, and letting go. So you got to let go. Focus on yourself. Focus on your well-being. And that's all I got here. You know. Ending this reading with the three of cups. Seeing me as a friend. Sun card out here. I feel like we are family. I got all my sisters and brothers with me. That's <laughs> what like I said before, I channel God with my sun card. God is all-knowing, all-seeing. God is the source of our warmth, our strength, and our light. So I feel like it's all love out here. God wants us to look out after one another. God wants us to uplift one another. And that's what I'm here to do. And I'm sure you do it for other people. So it means nothing to me. I love you. God, that's all I got for you. Please like, share, subscribe.
hey what's up pal number two you might want to check out pal four because spirit is showing me four wings out here do what feels called to you but come on in let's talk about urgent message from spirit great spirit holy spirit father god can you please talk to us please uh for pal two i don't have channel messages i don't have extra cards so what are the urgent messages please and thank you we have the eight of pinnacles spirit is giving me a pat on the back to give you guys a pat on the back because i see this nail patting the hammer or whatever it is um but you guys do a good job the eight of pinnacles are all about being efficient being hard working i feel like you're motivated and you have a fire under your butt with this engine revving in the background i feel like you motivate people or you're just self-motivated and you're going to go far with this engine in the background but spirit is pleased with this upright because i read uprights and reversals about the job that you're doing everybody that picked this pal does something different but spirit is pleased I feel like you guys are enlightened beings and you just have a knowing, you're natural. The light is on. <laughs> what else we got, Great Spirit? We have the Nine of Cups out here. I don't make none of my palettes up, y'all. This is more energy of pleasure and happiness and wish fulfillment. You guys are doing a great job and you ought to be proud of yourself because this does come with energy being proud and being happy. But most importantly, I'm getting energy of spirit being proud and happy. Like, that's my baby. That's my boy. So you have a spiritual team, God, angels, ancestors that are proud of the job that you're doing, how you are doing it. I don't know what you're doing, but they're buying. <laughs> so this is happiness. You need to be happy with whatever you're doing. So let's continue on. We have the Four of Swords out here. Spirit has forced me to read this in reversal. It's not always easy for you guys. It doesn't always come easily. It always doesn't bring you peace because the Four of Swords is peace. Um, you offer other people peace or you do something that it's just a peaceful type of nature is what I'm getting here. Spirit wants you guys to rest ashore because we have lots of rest and peace and meditation out here with the Four Swords that you're doing a good job, even though sometimes you second guess if you're doing the right purpose or, you know, it's worth it. But I feel like Spirit wants you to be rest assured and come to peace that you're meant to do whatever it is that you're doing. What else you got? You have the Page of Wands out here in the verse. I feel like you guys don't hear praise or thank yous or you don't get reciprocation often the pages represent communication people don't really vocalize how good you are so spirit is going to vocalize how good you are you are dealing with people that could be childish you are dealing with people that you know are jealous is what i'm getting here with this page of wands in reverse so don't take their absence of appraisal to heart is what i'm getting here don't punish yourself either is what I'm getting here because my page of wands comes with punishment and temper tantrums. Don't take things personal if you don't hear a thank you or you don't hear good job because spirit is proud and that's what it's all about at the end of the day because you guys are on your life path. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing and not everybody in this world is doing what they're supposed to be doing. What else you got? You have the high priest in the universe. A lot of you guys sometimes second guess your abilities. Some of you guys are just very intuitive and you do something, you're doing your calling, whether it be spiritually or, you know, you're out in the world healing people because I got a healer out here. I got somebody with gifts out here. You guys have a gift from God, but sometimes you wonder if you are on your path, if you're descending, if you are just wasting your time is what I'm getting here. And the answer is absolutely not. <laughs> Okay, you got to let that go with this burp, you know, being in this reading, symbolizing letting go. So let go of that thought process of you second guessing yourself. Let go of not feeling worthy because people don't give you the communication or the praise or the pat on the back. I'll give it to you. Spirit's giving it to you. Now you got to give it to you. What else we got? We got the world card. Y'all are going to be a success story because the world card is a successful completion. The world card comes with fame and being the center of attention. Um, so and, and sometimes what I'm hearing is some of your jobs are going to allow you to travel as well as what I'm getting here. It might not happen now. You might not have your success story now, but eventually things will grow. So I'm seeing here with this comparison to the orange and the world card. So keep it fresh. Be optimistic, and your success will be yours. 
what else we got into this reading with the page of wands out here in reverse a lot of people are jealous of what you do and how you do it is what i'm getting here with two pages out here whenever i have two pages in a reading that's in reverse it tells me it's like a recess beef they don't get along for whatever reason it's very childish out here so don't take to heart when people don't celebrate you because they wish they had your natural talents okay I feel like you guys, the, the page of wands is known to be a sightseer and to go far or want to go far. And I feel like you are where people wish they were. So let's continue on. Let's get clarity and closing remarks. The lover's card. As long as you put your heart into it, as long as you're passionate, as long as you're vulnerable and honest with yourself with these naked bodies out here, you can't lose. Spirits tell me that your heart is open. You're doing it all for the right reasons. So you can't really second guess is what I'm getting here. Let's continue on. Grace Spirit, can I get clear and close remarks for Pile 2? With the Four of Cups in reverse, I feel like you guys are open and aware that this is your calling and you have to have thicker skin. This Lover's card is back out here, and I just uh, shuffled. Um, but sometimes you get unhappy or sometimes you get people that are closed off and you don't feel appreciated. You got to keep on keeping on. <laughs> Grace Spirit, can I get clear and close remarks for Pile 2, please and thank you. Ooh, two cards for the world card. I see a success story with this world card. Let's talk about it. I like starting off with my duplicates. We got the four of swords out here. A lot of you guys lose your peace. Remember when I put this four of swords out here in reverse and Spirit brought it out here in reverse? Spirit wants you to maintain your peace when things get hard, when you don't get the results that you're, you know, expecting. So let go, let God, and come to peace that, you know, everybody can do what you do and you have a natural calling and you can't give up on yourself when things get hard. Let's talk about it. We have the judgment card. You also can't beat yourself up because I saw that energy here with the page of wands in reverse. You can't punish yourself. You can't be harsh, critical, or judgmental on your success story and when it should happen and how it should happen and having a larger audience is what I'm getting here. Do what you do. Don't look down on people. <laughs> Don't do that because spirit does not like ego, okay? I am one to talk because I got to keep myself humble all the time, okay? But um, it's all in spirit's timing and spirit wants to watch you grow spiritually, mentally, physically, you know? So keep on keeping on without beating yourself up. Let's talk about this Eight of Pentacles uh, being efficient, we got the queen of cups out here whether you're a man or a woman i feel like you put your all into it you put your heart into it the queen of cups is known to be supportive um nurturing loving i feel like you love what you do and people can tell and that's where the jealousy comes from let's talk about this nine of cups out here happiness page of swords out here page of swords is telling me that you guys are receiving this message because the pages represent communication i feel like you're receiving this message and you ought to be proud of yourself um, you make other people happy, so now it's time for you guys to uh, absorb some of the happiness without being egotistical or self-absorbed. <laughs> Let's talk. I'm talking to myself too. Let's talk about this four of swords out here. Peace. Look what's back out here after I shuffled my cards. Like I can't make it up. Spirit doesn't. I don't believe in coincidences. You know, spirit is out here, and I feel like somebody wants to sleep with you. <laughs> And I mean sexually, with the lover's card and the four swords, I'm getting sexual energy. So you got somebody in your energy that wants to sleep with you? That's a side note. That's a side note. That's a, somebody wants to get naked with you and cuddle with you and grip some things. Or you want to grip some things, don't know what you're into, don't matter. But somebody wants to sleep with you. But Spirit also wants you guys to love yourself and find peace. <laughs> Let's talk about those page of wands out here. That was a distraction. Page of Wands in reverse. Emperor out here. Now, with the Emperor in reverse, it's telling me your journey is not going to be as easy as you want it to. Emperor has responsibilities, and with great power comes great responsibilities. So when people are, you know, not praising you, you have to praise yourself and continue on until you make it to the top. Let's talk about this High Priestess in reverse. Second guessing. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Now, it's funny. Whenever I have uprights and reversals, this is kind of what this reading is all about because you guys are hardworking. 
but sometimes you feel like you're not getting anywhere is what I'm getting here. Sometimes you second guess what the high priest is being in reverse. But, and a lot of you guys are intuitive. A lot of you guys are tarot readers. A lot of you guys work with divination. A lot of you guys are into astrology or you read palms or read tea leaves. You're spiritualist, whatever it is you do, but you're effective with the eight of pentacles out here. But sometimes you're like, uh, am I really? And yes, you are. <laughs> Let's talk about this page of wands in reverse, not hearing the praise and, you know, the communication that you need. And we have another page in reverse to signify that some people get jealous of how you do things and the way you do it. So they are not going to like it. They're not going to say, go, good job, because they're a hater. You know, haters going to hate, ain't is going to ain't. To have all these pages in reverse, when I clarify what the pages mean in reverse, it's just no coincidence. I can't even find it because I'm not supposed to look for it. We're not supposed to look in our rear view mirror. We're supposed to keep on keeping on. Guys, that's all I got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hey, 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 what's up, pal? Three, come on in. This might be your third reading because I'm seeing three eyes out here. Um, I am feel like I'm talking to an audience that has their third eye open, somebody that's aware, somebody that's very intuitive. You could be a spiritualist. You could be a star seed. Um, what is that word? Palladians? Play? I don't know. What the, I don't, Orion? I don't, I don't, I'm not into astrology or any of the star seeds. I'm just a spiritualist. But whatever you call yourself is whatever you call yourself. <laughs> Great spirit. Can we talk about Power 3, please? And thank you. I don't have channel message. I don't have extra cards, so it should be short and sweet. Urgent message for Power 3, please. And thank you. You have the judgment card in reverse. Spirit is telling me y'all might be too harsh or critical or judgmental. But I'm feeling like it's on yourself. I feel like you guys are not receiving the glory or the praise or an audience as quickly as you wanted to because I see an audience out here. Um, so you're being harsh toward yourself with the judgment card in reverse. I read upright to inner reversals. And with us starting off in reverse, it's telling me there's a bit of resistance in your life. So be kind to yourself. Let go, let God. Don't expect so much in so little time is what I'm hearing. Let's continue on. You have lots of grief out here, lots of darkness, lots of sadness out here. I feel like you guys are being harsh towards yourself, you're not being kind. You're inside, you're depressed. You're not getting the praise that you, I don't know what you do to acquire praise, but you guys got to not expect so much is what I'm getting here. You gotta let go with this burp being in your reading and that's symbolizing letting go, excuse me. <laughs> you gotta lighten up a little bit as well. Cause I see lots of darkness and you know grief out here when it doesn't have to be. You have to, I see a journey out here. I see a long path, you have to, go along the journey it's not going to always be easy and that's a part of your story channel message so i feel like you guys are expecting a lot from other people and you guys gotta you know let it go and continue doing your thing what else you got you got the tempers in reverse tempers in reverse is a mental imbalance a lot of you guys are losing your <laughs> i didn't say it because you are not receiving what you expect to receive i got lots of 
angels out here. A lot of you guys are earth angels and you are trying to heal other people. You're trying to give them guidance. You're trying to give them clarity and insight or you're trying to just be a healer out here. And they're not, you know, acting like they know or they're not acting like they're healing. <laughs> you know, they're not saying thank you. They're not giving you you know, a thumbs up or something like that, or a like, and it's just like, it's not worth it. As long as you're doing your duty, you're doing your calling, it doesn't matter if they, you know, reciprocate that energy because God sees all, God is knowing, God is all seeing, all knowing. So what that said is God sees your action, God sees your heart, and that's all that really matters, to be honest with you. Your, your, your day in the sunshine, your day of, you know, people saying thank you is coming, but you can't expect too much and you can't let it plague you you can't become unbalanced you can't lose your peace with the temperance universe okay if you're anointed live in that and be okay with that you don't have to prove anything what else we got we got the nine of wands out here universe a lot of you guys are tired and exhausted because you just feel isolated you feel like you know people don't recognize your hard work is what i'm getting here and you have to do it for the good of your consciousness, the good of the collective. You know, if you're a healer, it doesn't matter if they appreciate it or not. As long as you did what you did and you said what you said and they absorb the message or they absorb the healing or, you know, you know, whatever it is you guys do, you do it. So let it go. Don't become so affected. Don't become so beaten up with this nine of wands universe, being a beaten up individual and feeling tired and exhausted and feeling like he's not gotten anywhere. You got to persevere and endure because that's what the nine of wands is. Perseverance and endurance. He's built a whole lot of work out here and he's tired. He's like, am, am I there yet? Am I there yet? Am I there yet? And you guys got to keep on keeping on. Let's continue on. We have the nine of wands out here again in reverse. A lot of you guys will isolate yourself and cut people off because you don't feel like you are receiving the glory or the praise. Um, like I said before, you have to recognize what you do it for. It's not for your ego. It's not for the applause. It's for you guys to be a healer, to help people out of tough situations that they're in. Like I said before, I don't know what you guys do, but don't become closed off with this window out here because of what other people aren't doing. What else we got? We have the Queen of Pentacles out here. The Queen of Pentacles or any queen in general is known to be graceful, kind, and nourishing. You have to, you know, allow... I see Jack and the Beanstalk out here. That didn't grow overnight, but I feel like your success story will grow overnight eventually, but you have to put the work in. You know, I feel like you guys want quick results or a quick success story. You have to, you know, bushes and harvests don't grow overnight. So you guys have to nourish your craft and eventually you will see fruits of your labor is what I'm seeing here. Be kind to yourself in the meantime with this queen out here. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. But be kind to yourself. Be patient with yourself. Be grounded with this earth energy out here. Ending this reading with the page of swords out here i like the page of swords upright because it tells me you're receiving this message the pages that are known to be communication i feel like i'm inspiring you guys to be more optimistic and uh, look forward and not look back okay so that's the name of the game let's get clear and close our remarks you got the high priest a lot of you guys second guess your abilities or your talents the high priestess is a spiritualist that has a gift from God, and I feel like you guys are naturals, but sometimes being so people don't, you know, look up to you or say thank you or reciprocate, then you guys second guess. And it's not about other people. It's about you doing your calling. That's what I'll say. Spirit doesn't want me to use this deck, so I will not. A lot of you guys feel like you're wasting time, but remember when I said that the harvest isn't going to happen overnight? We got another bush out here. You guys got to manage what you can manage thus far, and things will slowly but surely grow for you guys. But you got to be patient with the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles are all about patience, and a lot of you guys are just rushing the process. Three of Swords, and you're taking it personal with the Three of Swords, and you don't have to. Um... If you're a healer, if you're an earth angel, if you guys are doing it for the right reasons, it doesn't matter if people don't acknowledge. You got to just stay motivated. 
hope this resonates for you guys. A lot of you guys are carrying around a lot of baggage from the past and, you know, a time frame is what I'm getting here with, with this accumulation out here. And it's keeping you bound up. And that's just not healthy for you or for other people because you got to, you know, be lighthearted at all times. The cherry card in reverse. The cherry card is all about success and getting somewhere. A lot of you guys are stuck in the past of where you haven't received yet or you're rushing the process or things are slow moving with the chariot in reverse. You can't put a time frame on it. Um, I don't have any closing remarks. And this is more energy of shoulda, coulda, woulda. You expecting a little bit too much because the three of wands in reverse is a missed opportunity. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. And I feel like things are going to happen quickly, but it's not going to be in your timing, so you can't put a measurement on it. I don't think I have closing remarks for you guys. I hope it resonates. But typically when I don't have closing remarks or a deck that wants to clarify, that's a sign that it does resonate. So I am sending you off with love and happiness. And don't be so harsh on yourself. You know, everybody's going to get where they're meant to go in their own timing. Peace. Hey, what's up, pile number four? Come on in, bring it on in. This might be your fourth reading. If it's not, you probably have other piles within this video because I see four individuals, but do what feels called to you. Great Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on, pile number four? Please and thank you. I got extra cards. Um, you definitely might want to check out pile three because I have triples out here. Do what feels called to you. Um, I don't have channel messages, so Great Spirit, Holy Spirit, read the message for pile four, please and thank you. Ooh, it's getting hot and steamy in here. Lover's card is all about love, intimacy, reciprocation. Um, I tap in my second card, and I don't want to jump the gun, but love is in the air. <laughs> Let's talk about it. You have the nine of swords. Somebody has regrets for not sharing how much they love you. I see these, these hands hiding eyes, and I feel like somebody was not forthcoming on how much they loved you. And they've been having dreams of you with this bedtime activity and nighttime activity. And they have lots of regrets and they have lots of pain. They feel single and isolated. They feel like they messed up is what I'm getting here. I'm hearing, how could I? That's the love of my life. That's the one. Yada, yada, yada. I feel like it's somebody that you're over with because me saying yada, yada, yada is something like you don't want to even hear. It's like mute. It's like I don't want to hear from that person. I'm not trying to go down that route not trying to go down that avenue that road with all these avenues out here um so this is a person of your past that kind of caused you to feel a bit of anguish and pain but they want intimacy <laughs> let's talk about it we got the five of pentacles out here in universe now the five of pentacles in universe is feeling lucky and prosperous in universe and upgrading i feel like they want to upgrade to you I feel like they feel out in the cold and they're suffering and there's nobody out in the world that can understand them the way that you can understand them. Is what I'm getting here with the five of pentacles representing suffering financially or emotionally or physically. Um, but I feel like they, they look at you as an upgrade. They look at you as lucky. They look at you as prosperous with the five of pentacles in reverse. That's just, that, this is just their perception. But let's not forget, you know, the past. You know, but
before, they didn't recognize the perception. They didn't recognize how, you know, lucky they were to have you in their aura or in their energy. Before, they were kind of, you know, close off to you. They were trying to hide. I don't want to see that person. Too many feelings, too many feelings. You know how people get scared of feeling so strong? That's the case of this reading. What else we got? You got the King of Pentacles out here. This is the person that was very resistant, very controlling. They wanted to do things in their own timing, in their own way. The King of Pentacles is known to be selfish and withholding. I feel like they withheld their heart. But now they want to be committed because the King of Pentacles is known to lock it down. And this is permanent energy out here with the King of Pentacles. Um... But I feel like you were dealing with a person that you view as controlling. We have lots of perception out here. They view you as an upgrade and you view them as controlling and withholding. A lot of y'all have to communicate because there's too much perception and not enough communication. <laughs> I got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Pentacles in reverse is telling me they didn't give to you properly. They didn't reciprocate. Six of Pentacles is all about giving and receiving. I feel like what they gave you made you, you know, feel out in the cold or a state of suffering when they could have locked it down with you but you didn't get that you know you got the short end of the stick they didn't reciprocate and now they want to reciprocate let's continue on though what else we got we got the five of cups in reverse they're missing and being fond of you and this you remember how i said they hide their feelings the umbrella being hidden over the face is more energy of somebody hiding their feelings this is somebody of your past that didn't want to admit how much they love you, how much they care for you. Now they're in grief. Now they're in suffering. Now they're having bad days. And I don't wish this on nobody, but this is just the interview that I see. Now they miss you, you know. Now they want to get close to you. Now they want to open their heart and reveal some things. I kind of feel honesty behind this card. I kind of feel vulnerability and reciprocation behind this energy, but... I feel like their past kind of, you know, paints a negative picture. So let's continue on. We got somebody opening their heart towards you. I don't, I don't mean to say it like that. I don't mean to say it like that. But what a coincidence is what I'm feeling to say. Like the Knight of Cups is known to court people, you know, go on missions and defend their love and honor. And I feel like now they want to defend their love and honor. Now they want to do right by you. Now they want to go in your direction. But let's not forget about this King of Pentacles being so resistant, so controlling, so withholding. You know, energy like this cannot be forgotten. And if they even expect to just move on from that so easily with this Knight of Sword, I mean, Knight of uh, Cups out here, it's going to cause more issues because you can't sweep things under the rug. You can't ignore. <laughs> you can't, you know, do things in your own timing because, you know, you feel some type of way or your ego or your entitlement with this royalty in reverse. You know, I feel like they have to really address some things. They have to confront some things within themselves and to you. And it hopefully is very honest and true and genuine and loving. I can go on and on. But somebody wants to open their heart to you. I got the Four of Cups in reverse, which is telling me you guys are fully aware of this person who I'm speaking of. You know, you're probably upset with this person or you just know, like, it's an eye roll going on in my mind's eye right now because it's like, why them? Why are they coming in my direction? I've already healed from that. I've already moved on from that. I already know your type. <laughs> I can go on and on. Let's continue on. Magician out here. Somebody's captivated captivated by you somebody walked away from you really quickly i'm seeing the turtle and the rabbit in my mind's eye um but the magician carries energy of captivating people manifestations i feel like they want to manifest you in their life they're captivated by you and they probably ran away from you because they were scared you know this is a type of love connection that they weren't used to and they ran when they should have been the turtle they should have been you know thinking about longevity in the marathon and not the race they sprinted away from you they ran away from you and quickly but i feel like with the lover's car and the magician out here upright they want to manifest you back in their life there's nobody out in the world like you they want to build bonds i see morning breath out here like <laughs> they just want to get closer to you they want to manifest you they recognize that they ran away from you is what i'm getting here what they do with that, you know, rec that 
you know, what they recognize is entirely up to them. How they make it up is entirely up to them. Because we remember this energy. And then this reading with the King of Rods out here. This is somebody that you're physically attracted to, whether it's a man or a woman. The King of Rods is known to be everybody's type, known to be handsome. Um, and I feel like Spirit wants me to read this in reversal. Like, this person, their handsomeness or their physicality got to their head and they became big-headed. I'm seeing Lord Foraqua. <laughs> I don't know why. But they were really big-headed and egotistical and they thought because they looked a certain way or they were everybody's type, then they could treat everybody a certain way. And not you. They recognize that they can't do that with you. You're not going to stand for it. You know, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And they're used to people falling to their knees and wanting them, but that didn't happen to you. Let's get clarity and closing remarks. And to be honest with you, spirits show me mutual attraction. Whenever I have a queen of wands or a king of wands, they are physically attracted to you. Because the king of wands and the queen of wands are both physically attractive. So let's get clarity and closing remarks. Urgent messages. Oh, somebody wants you and they want you bad. Um, they were withholding. They were a bit selfish because the four of pentacles come with selfishness and withholding and control. But they want you bad. They want to hold you down. It's starting to get sexual out here. It's starting to get sexual. So I'm going to move on from that. Four, I mean, we got the two of swords in verse. I feel like you're open and aware of this energy. Now somebody wants to be open when they were closed off and standoffish. And they want to recognize you and have the blindfold off and look the other way. And, you know, I can go on and on and it probably hurt. But now they want to undo the hurt. So let's see how that goes. I'm, I'm not feeling this deck. I might come back to it. We'll see. <laughs> we got the four wands. Spirit showing me this is twin flame energy. Somebody wants to come to your house. But when you have a twin flame energy that is a physically attractive type of unit, you're going to be highly attracted to one another just physically, mentally. You know, y'all are counterparts spiritually. I see more smells out here with the rose out here. I'm not even going to go there. I'm just going to say it's lots of intimacy. I don't want to smell your neck or, you know, other places. Somebody likes smells is what I'm getting here. Whether it be good or bad smells is what I'm getting here. Because I remember smelling the morning breath. So I don't know. Either you smell good or you smell bad, but I feel like it don't matter. Grace Spirit, can I get clarity and closing remarks, please, and thank you? It's the intimacy. All of a sudden. Grace Spirit, can I get clarity, please, and thank you? Ooh, two cards for the lover's card. Spirit wants to talk about that. Let's talk about it. Grace Spirit, can we get clarity? Lover's card. We have the two of wands. They have plans after being hard-headed with this brick wall out here. Two of wands is planning and research. And we see this ex out here, they were closed off towards you, but they have plans to really breach your heart. I feel like a lot of you guys have um, a wall built up against this person in your heart because you wanted to open your heart, but they didn't want to. They were closed off, so now you're closed off. The spirit wants you to try as hard as you can to let go with this burp being your reading, and that symbolizes letting go. <clears throat> What else we got? We got the page of cups. You might receive communication from a person. They want to be vulnerable. They want to go out. They want to have fun. Um, the pages represent communication. The cups represent emotions. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got. Nine of swords out here. Anguish. We have the ace of pentacles out here in reverse. Ace of pentacles in reverse is not feeling blessed. I feel like they feel isolated. They feel like people don't understand them. As much as they want other people to understand them, um, they probably don't feel blessed by spirit because this is a very spiritual card out here. So um, if you like ignore your twin flame, that's going to come with consequences. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but I mean, it's like almost like ignoring a family member in their time of need. I don't know. Let's talk about this five of pentacles in reverse upgrading. Seven of Wands, they're hoping that you're going to let down your guard so they can upgrade, but I feel like being as though they left you out in the cold, your defenses are up. Seven of Wands is defensiveness and boundaries out here. I feel like, you know, 
just because they recognize your worth and your value now, they want you to let down your guards. And I don't think that's going to be easy because I remember seeing the guards being up at the brick wall out here. But, you know, we'll see if actions, you know, equate to this conversation. You know, actions at the end of the day speaks volumes. Let's talk about the King of Pentacles being so controlling and withholding. The Moon card in reverse. Moon card in reverse is all about putting a spotlight to someone's shadow side. I feel like you guys identify with this person always wanting to get their own way. They feel like they have the Midas touch. They feel like they, they can treat people the other way. And that was a lie. You know what I mean? I feel like they've been in the dark for a long standing time because I see lots of darkness in, in both these cards. Um, and life hasn't been treating them kind. I see two uh, B-I-T-C-H's out here. You know, they've been having upheaval and resistance. And, you know, they had a person that could have understood them. They could have had an intimate relationship. But they were withholding through that person. So that's going to come with consequences. Spiritual consequences. I feel like they felt like they were able to mistreat people spiritually, physically, emotionally because their physicality. So they had to learn, you know, their own way. Let's talk about this five of cups in reverse, missing and being fond. We have the knight of cups. To have the knight of cups and the page of cups, well, with the page of cups coming out first and the knight of cups coming out second, somebody's grown up, <laughs> air quotes, they want to court you. They want to have a conversation. They want to get to know you on a deeper level. I got the Two of Cups out here. Two of Cups is soulmate. They feel the connection. They admire you is what I'm getting here. I, I see communication, and I feel like they're going to be really invested in the conversation. Let's talk about the Knight of Cups out here. They want to go down the same path that you are down with two Knights of Cups out here. Let's talk about it. We have the devil card in reverse. Now, the devil card in reverse likes to play innocent, likes to think that they're better than other people, or likes to label people the bad guy when they're, in fact, the bad guy. So this is going every different way. But I don't like the devil card in my reading, upright or reversal in my readings. This person could come with an addiction to drinking, because I see... A cup out here and I see addictions the devil likes to keep people bound in um, addictions such as drugs over excess you could be addicted to working out because you do it too much you could be addicted to drinking because you do it too much you could be addicted to drugs because you do it too much but um, this person could be either wanting to walk away or they're just not having a healthy lifestyle is what I'm getting here because I see I can see alcohol out here with this cup out here um, but they are also the same one that label other people the bad guy. Let's talk about this magician out here upright. They want to manifest you. Queen of Cups out here. They want to manifest you after causing so much distress in your life. The Queen of Cups in reverse is known to be emotional and in distress. Um, they're going to have to do something that's going to heal now. <laughs> I don't know what that something is. I don't even know if they know what that something is. But um, they're going to have to do some some healing. I feel like they disappear because the magician in reverse is known to be Houdini and he disappears. And I feel like you guys healed your heart. You found your, you, you recognize your worth with this queen out here. Um, and you moved on is what I'm getting here. And... If they want to manifest back in your life, they're going to have to address a lot of things that they probably don't want to address. Now I got the devil card and the magician out here in reverse. Oh, no, this is upright. Okay. Yeah, they want to manifest you back in your life, and they want to leave the negativity behind. Let's talk about this king of rods, this person that's so attractive. <gasps> Three Wands in reverse is missed opportunity, shoulda, coulda, woulda. They look back and they reminisce a lot. Um, they probably recognize that their looks and they can't treat people the way that they want to treat them is what I'm getting here. I got the Two Wands in reverse. Two Wands in reverse is letting go, editing, subtracting, dividing. They know that you have cut the cord. You're not interested. You edit them out your life because they missed opportunities to act like they knew or they didn't, you know, their ego kind of turned you off is what I'm getting here. So, um... I feel like they have some regrets, like I mentioned before, with the Nine of Swords out here. You know, 
this is just a state of karma because you guys were once in the state of anguish and now they're in the state of anguish. You see how that balances out? That See how that twin flame energy equates? Be careful how you treat people. And that goes for y'all and for them. And for me. <laughs> Peace, y'all. Love you.